Right. I wanted to make this video to share with you a few of my revelations I've been having over the last few weeks or so. And it's mainly about the universal connectivity of us all, of the universe, of all the dimensions, of, of everything. There's, there's something called the unified source field and quantum physics and mechanics is now showing us that this is real. It penetrates all space-time, everything we know to exist. And it, it's an ocean of pure potential that gives rise in the form of vibrations and things manifest in, in all dimensions for what I can understand. And, and what we're doing is we're sort of hanging out in the third dimension as sort of quantum computers, hard drive fractals, you know, here in search of information, in search of higher consciousness. And I believe that anything that manifests from this, you know, infinitely intelligent consciousness that is everything is going to be perfect because if it's so intelligent, then everything serves a purpose. Uh, although we are searching for information, it sort of knows what information is already going to be found because space and time are just a massive illusion and it already knows everything. The problem is it wants to experience um, infinity in all dimensions. So for that to happen, you need space and time. Otherwise, the alternative is a complete chaos of all particles of matter simultaneously existing in 3,000 different superpositions. Uh, instead, it's had to collapse that infinite superposition, um, natural state of things in the wave function, to a finite existence so that uh, it can experience and possibly love and enlighten itself further if that's at all possible. But infinity is a big place, so <laughs> it's going to take a long time to play out all these different things. Um, that the unified source field is trying to do and we're just enjoying the ride we are all one you me everyone every planet every rock and I believe also that um, you know it's come to light over the, the last few days that you know every single thing that you experience serves to to show you that we're detached or that we're united it just depends on your perspective so you can look at that rock and you can say, you know, that's a rock, it's got no life, it's not like me. You know, it's not breathing, it can't reproduce, it can't be conscious, it's not thinking, but yes, that rock is you, because it too is part of the unified field. Um, we're all connected by beams of light, we're all, we are light. <clears throat> you know, the, the material world is so, so vivid and it's so real that so many of us get caught up in it and we don't realize that there's a lot more to know. You know, you know, your thoughts, for example, where you go when you dream, your whole inside your consciousness, you know, are those thoughts actually yours? Are you thinking these thoughts? Is destiny real? These things, they need to be pondered and, and they're not pondered enough because we're so stuck in the physical realm. And I believe it's also, you know, a bit of a half and half situation where you have to worry about the material world uh, as equally as you do uh, the spiritual world and using science we can actually explore this spiritual realm with, with actually some quite decent accuracy so there's no sense following religions that promise uh, joy and heaven and all these great things in the these ancient scriptures written by hundreds of people <clears throat> We're just supposed to trust them but as you know and a lot of other people know that we crave facts more than uh, Just trusting people's words. We want to see it in action. We want to see some, a bit of proof So it's happening now that we're getting closer and closer to singularity um, Everything that's manifested is needed, and we're all 
going a certain direction. Uh, and I'm also working on this other theory, and I know I've already said a million things already. Um, I'll just throw it out there just in case, because <clears throat> I'm just trying to make sense of this, this whole, if we're this unified, and we are, <laughs> doubt myself here, if we are this unified consciousness, this unified field that exists, you know, this one torus shape energy field rotating in on itself to infinity, just trying to become more enlightened, if that is the case, then why does it have to actually manifest us? Which is why I conclude that it was about experience. Um, but I also ponder this because what if it created us because it can't do something and it needs us to evolve so that we can help it do something that it couldn't before. Like right now, maybe the, the universe can't get somewhere uh, or do something. It's looking for, for someone or something to evolve to help it. And maybe that's what singularity is. When we all reach singularity, the universe and us will have the infinite capabilities beyond our comprehension right now, and that's only 15 years away uh, with the rate of technology going at Moore's Law and all that good stuff. If you're a fan of this kind of stuff, then you'll find all my words pretty pretty spot on and resonant. Otherwise, <clears throat> I'm going to sound like a complete and utter fucking retard, but that's all right because uh, if it's not your time right now, it's not your time, but I'm just making this video so I could share with you what I've been thinking over the last few days, how, I, you know, the implications of oneness and, and how we need to change our perspective on humanity, on the universe, on everything, because right now a lot of people are dying, a lot of people are at war, and these people, they're, they're, they're at war with their minds, with beliefs, they don't understand that we are one. If you knew that we were one, you wouldn't be out there killing people you know, people would start going vegan as much as they could, although you still could argue that plants have consciousness and, th consciousness and things like that, but it's, uh, everything's here, uh, and everything we experience is needed to, uh, to gain further enlightenment. It's just a matter of your perspective, whether you're going to get the lesson straight away or not, and also we're going through infinity, so good and bad things aren't actually good or bad. Up or down, there is no up or down, left or right, and all that sh stuff. It's it's just a matter of perspective, and we're just infinite, and we're experiencing a bit of infinity here. Unless my other theory is correct, and the universe is using us to travel through hyperspace. I don't know, <laughs> but as far as I'm aware, the unified the uh, unified source field is capable of anything, and and knows everything. So you can only conclude that. We are just experiencing infinity in the third dimension. Meanwhile, other densities and other consciousnesses and other versions of ourselves and subjective, of course, because all is one, they're all out there experiencing everything else as well. We just can't see it. We can't tune into it. We're crystals. You know, we'll, we, we're only tuned into what our eyes and what our brain are, are programmed to tune into. We're tuned and programmed by the universe, the universe to see and experience exactly what we need to see and experience. I mean, a lot of people actually know this stuff. They, they see signs all the time, and they follow them, and I'm sure their lives are fantastic, but some people don't, and they wonder why their lives are so shit, and, you know, why me, why me? Well, there's lessons all over the place, everything. You lose your phone, someone steals your phone, anything, everything. There's a lesson, as horrible as it is, it's always a lesson, it's always an information gathering session. You're sending and transmitting messages from the universe, pulling in information and sending it back. You know, if you look deep down inside of your body, you'll find at the smallest level, your DNA is, is full of supercomputers, like constantly destructing and recreating your DNA every second. You're like, you're constantly being remade. You're, you're not the same person you were yesterday. Oh, you're not supposed to be mentally either, but some people... But then again, they're lost 
and it's just a part of me that's lost. So it's our duty as enlightened individuals to help others become more enlightened because that's the most efficient way to gather more information. And it's the best way for us all to have a more peaceful experience while we're here. And it's just part of infinity to, to change our ways and to go into other ways. And I also believe we're, we're, we're trying to achieve Phi like all other life and plants. And Phi in my eyes is enlightenment and pure love. And we're, we're trying, but what we're doing is we're going like this. Coming up, up and over it just every so often through the, our progressions. And eventually we're going to get closer and closer and closer, you know, to five, but we'll never actually quite get there because perfection is, as far as we're concerned, impossible. But who knows? Throughout infinity, we might just get there. And then that might be what the big bang is. <laughs> we all start all over again. <laughs>